Royal Castles and Beer! A bumbling tourist UK adventure vlog series. What up, Internet? It's really early in the morning, although not as early as it could have been because there was a time change last night. Yeah, we gained an hour. Gained an hour and then we'll go home and uh, there'll be another time change. Lucky. So, interesting how that works out. Gaining all kinds of hours. <laughs> Collecting them. Yeah, we are. In a couple of days, we'll collect like eight of them hours. Mm -hmm. Anyway, uh, we're heading to London today from Conway. Yep. Um, it's going to be a long bus day. We'll yeah. stop in Birmingham in a few hours time, but... So if this vlog is just what we do today, it'll yeah. probably be pretty short. Yeah. Maybe we'll see some London at the end. Yeah. Thanks so much for tuning in, and Thanks. so uh, yeah. enjoy today's vlog. Yeah. Our last stop on our, on our little European journey. What up, London? See you later. Right. So I figured we needed a little bit of context here for this video, because there's not much except for footage of us sitting on a bus. First off, we hadn't initially planned on going to London on this trip, but because of a little bit of a mix-up, um, not a little bit of a mix-up, but an issue with Air Transit completely cancelling our flight, um, return flight from Dublin, Ireland, we were forced to fly out of London to get home. We initially planned on not going to London at all because accommodation prices are insane. Last second, we found ourselves kind of stuck and we had to either purchase a train ticket or a bus ticket. So the second issue here is that we had to make the journey from Conway, Wales to London on a Sunday, which seriously limited the options as well. We had two main options. First, I looked up the train. If we wanted to pay $170 Canadian each, we could take a train leaving Conway or I think it's called Lobundo. I'm not sure. I can't really pronounce things in Welsh. My apologies. But that wasn't really an option for us because that's a lot of money. But if you're willing to shell out this kind of money, then you can buy a train ticket and it takes you about three and a half hours to get from Conway all the way down to London. And that takes you right to Easton. But that wasn't an option for us, so I looked into buses. First we had to walk from Conway to Lalenda Station. It took us about half an hour to 45 minutes. The bus picked us up across from the train station at 8.35 a.m. And from here, it was a six hour bus ride to Birmingham. We stopped all the way along the Welsh coastline at different little cities. And we actually went to Liverpool, which if you know anything about geography, Liverpool is in totally the opposite direction from London, if you're going from Conway. Then in Birmingham, we had to get off of the bus and have a 45 minute layover before we got on a different bus that would take us all the way to London. It's a pretty cool street art. It's like the only bit of the Birmingham we're gonna see. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because the bus was so full, we weren't able to put our luggage underneath. We had to sit with all of our baggage on our laps. And this was for another six hours before we actually made it to London. Because of all the stop and go traffic going into London, we actually didn't make it there until 9 p.m which meant that we spent a total of 12 hours sitting on a bus. This place is pretty cool. And the best part about it is it's not on a bus. We made it to London. Yeah. We were on a bus for, well, multiple buses, but 12 hours of travel at least, a little longer. It was a rough day. For a uh, long night. day. Yeah. Down there looks really cool. In total though, this trip cost us 30 pounds each. So in total, we saved about $120 Canadian each, which meant that we could spend that on beer that we definitely needed once we arrived finally in London, like 12 and a half hours later. Was it worth it? 
I'm not sure. We couldn't really shell out the $170 Canadian each, so it was worth it for us, I guess. If you're not traveling on Sunday, you probably have a lot more options um, in terms of taking a train and a bus, but for us, this is how it worked out. And hopefully that's kind of useful information if you're looking to do the same kind of journey. I know. I'm not sure what a cyber dog is, but it's delightful and it's probably the only content in this video. What up, can show? It's a ginger and lime pale ale. So that was our first day. Thanks in for London. watching. <laughs> yeah. He's sleepy. He didn't get any sleep. Thanks for watching. Thanks. We just slept in a <laughs> tiny, overcrowded dorm. Uh, I got maybe two hours sleep. We're gonna go get up some coffee, and then uh, we'll start this thing again, and we'll actually enjoy London. Yeah. So see you next time when it's today for us right now. <laughs> Literally seconds yeah. from now. <laughs> but like a week for you probably. You should Peace. smile a bit. Thanks for subscribing <laughs> and liking and promoting to all your friends about how bumbly tourists can be. Yeah, pretty bumbly. Yeah, come bumble with us sometimes. Yeah, we'd yeah. love to have journey adventure friends. Nice Beth did it. Gabby's gonna do it. Gabby's gonna do it. Yeah. Honorary bumblers. Alright, bumbles out yo. <laughs> this thing on? What up, elephant's head? What up, wit beer can't jump? What up, psycho? Look, <laughs> 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 in the shot, hope you don't mind.